So Jaden Malati got his bag stolen. They took his bag over here, threw his bag, and then scattered all his shit. Is the, are, the, are these cameras working out here? Yeah. I just, I just asked her. The manager comes in tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow in the morning that's able to rewind the tape. I'm going to keep it a bean. Y'all got it. Jaden got his shit yanked, stolen, scattered. Man, wait till the end of this damn video, bro. Yeah. 
you good. I got you. I said, get in the car. <laughs> Tap in, right? It's done. It's cooked. We're leaving. Uh, we got niggas on the sideline thinking shit funny. Uh, it's the second time this happened. We pulled up to Tucson. Niggas on the sideline want to act crazy and shit. Throwing the ball and shit like that shit was funny. And that ghetto ass mama thought that shit was funny. Not out. I'm in this bitch. Fuck you talking about nigga dirty south for this bitch, man. Oh, God. <laughs> selfie mode. So listen, y'all. So we're at the park takeover. Y'all see those people were acting crazy. Um, so we're currently behind a smoke shop in a random ass Tucson. Tucson, Arizona is not a good place, y'all. Okay, it's, it's not that pretty. Um, so Jaden Malati got his bag stolen and they took his bag over here, threw his bag, and then scattered all his shit. I don't know if it was the people that was acting crazy or what, but this is some corny ass shit. So far, all he found was his jacket and what was the other one? His shorts? This is weird, y'all. Listen, man, if you had our part take over, bro, I keep y'all want to fucking try and go viral in the crowd and shit, but why are you grabbing our shit and hiding it? This is weird as fuck. Like, literally, we tracked his phone, it was here. 
and the backpack, he found the backpack over there. He found his fucking jacket on top of this hill. What the fuck, bro? Hey, if y'all watching this video, bro, don't act crazy or take over, bro. That's some weird ass shit, man. Are these cameras working out here? Yeah. I just I just asked her. The manager comes in tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow in the morning that's able to rewind the tape and everything. Where's this thing? What was supposed to say? Like, where, like, you know, like, do you have the manager's number or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, he's right there. So you might need him to come down here. Like, you need quick. Because we're not going to be here. Yeah, there's the camera on the hill in the back. Yeah, right there. It's right there? Mm-hmm. So at the very least, we'll get a license plate. So some of you guys may be a little bit confused as to really why he got his shit stolen. So basically, those two guys who were sitting on the baseline, they were basically heckling Jaden and Brandon the entire time they were there. My cameraman really didn't pick that shit up, but they were just heckling Brandon and Jaden, just talking shit the entire time. I don't think they were there to come watch basketball. They were there to start a problem, obviously, as y'all seen, he chucked the fucking basketball. But yeah, so he was basically, they were basically heckling Jaden and Brandon, and then of course, Jaden and Brandon, if y'all don't know, they love talking shit, they were talking back. So y'all seen Jaden uh, threw himself a oop off the backboard and dunked it and kind of threw the ball at bro because I think he said some slick I didn't really hear and so bro just chucked this shit out the basketball um, And then once he chucked the basketball he said something talked a little shit and then he just walked out So him and his buddy and y'all seen the white mom there. That was actually his mama uh, She thought the shit was funny as fuck Mm, her teeth were crusty and, and, and crooked, but they thought that shit was funny And so right after they did that shit They ran to their truck started the truck and was about to leave as y'all seen the video They started the truck they was about to get the fuck So basically they were sitting behind their truck talking shit the entire time sitting behind their car behind their car doors Just talking crazy talking about leave this weak ass event as he was there watching he said leave the weak ass event obviously Y'all know we can't really do too much in that situation because there was a lot of kids there. Obviously, we can't just wild out and go punch somebody. So basically, during that whole situation, while we were walking behind the fence to go get the basketball, everybody in that crowd kind of followed us because they thought a fight was going to happen. Jaden's bag got stolen by somebody. Now, we don't know if it was a setup from when he threw the ball and one of his people went to go steal the bag or it was just somebody in the crowd, they stole Jaden's bag and ran with it. So during that whole thing of people crowded, Jaden couldn't find his bag. So Brandon does the find my iPhone to figure out where the hell Jaden's bag was, right? Jaden's bag was at a smoke shop half a mile down the street, which is weird as fuck. We don't know how the fuck his phone traveled that goddamn fast, right? So they must have took his shit and ran. As y'all seen, we finished the game. We actually did the find my iPhone shit after the game found his phone, and then we went straight to the smoke shop. Um, and when we went to the smoke shop, we couldn't find his phone anywhere, but it was saying it was that at that dirt hill right behind the smoke shop. And so what we found was Jaden had his passport, identification, phone, uh, uh, shorts, jacket, all that shit in his backpack. So he found his backpack on the back of the hill. He found his jacket at the top of the hill, his shorts at the, at the, uh, by the parking lot. But he never found his passport, never found his ID, never found his phone. All that shit was taken, which is fucked up. So they just basically dumped his shit out and threw his shit around, but took certain shit. If y'all are gonna pull up to my takeover and just like heckle, don't steal shit. Why y'all gonna steal somebody's shit and run? That's weird. That's weird. So we went to the gas station to see if they had any cameras. And obviously they had cameras everywhere. We called the manager. The manager said he couldn't show up till tomorrow morning. We said, you know, obviously we drove two hours to Tucson to do that takeover. We weren't gonna be there the next day. So the manager gave me a phone number to call tomorrow and I gave him my email so he could send me the tape. Then we figured out the next day that Jaden had to file a whole police report just for them to even send us the film. Jaden filed the police report and then the police said they can't send the film regardless because it's against the law. I'm gonna let y'all know Tucson police is 
ass. Fast forward to today, Jade never found his phone. He had to get a new phone. He has to get a new passport, all that shit. So um, if you guys are pulling up to my takeover, please stop stealing shit. Um, we're doing this for y'all. Obviously, Tucson is pretty ghetto. Um, you know, no one ever goes there. So when I go there, it's really just to show love to y'all boys um, and y'all just stealing shit. Let's not. Please hit the like button, y'all. Um, leave a comment how y'all feel about this situation, what y'all think we should have did. Um, yeah, man, I don't know, because that was some corny ass shit. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully none of our shit gets stolen ever again. And we out.